This is the oral summary of the Supreme Court judgment in the case of Emka Insat Bay Sanya AS, the respondent, and OOO Insurance Company Chubb, the appellant. The background to the appeals. The central issue on this appeal is how the governing law of an arbitration agreement is to be determined when the law applicable to the contract containing it differs from the law of the seat of the arbitration being the place chosen for the arbitration in the arbitration agreement. The contract in this case was for the construction of a power plant in Russia. The respondent, Enka, a Turkish engineering company, was a subcontractor in the project. Its contract with the Russian head contractor included an arbitration agreement, which provided that any disputes would be determined through arbitration proceedings in London. In February 2016, the power plant was severely damaged by fire. The appellant, Chubb Russia, a Russian insurance company, had insured the owner of the power plant against such damage. Chubb Russia paid an insurance claim by the owner, and by doing so assumed any rights to the owner to claim compensation from third parties, including Enka, for damage caused by the fire. In May 2019, Chubb Russia brought a claim against Enka in Russia. In response, in September 2019, Enka brought an arbitration claim in the Commercial Court in London, arguing that, by proceeding in the Russian court, Chubb Russia was in breach of the arbitration agreement and seeking an anti-suit injunction to restrain Chubb Russia from pursuing the Russian claim. Injunctive relief was refused by the Commercial Court, but granted by the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal held that unless there had been an express choice of the law that is to govern the arbitration agreement, the general rule should be that the arbitration agreement is governed by the law of the seat as a matter of implied choice. That there was no express choice of law in this case, that the arbitration agreement was therefore governed by English law, and that it was appropriate to grant an anti-suit injunction to restrain Chubb Russia from pursuing the Russian claim. Chubb Russia appeals to the Supreme Court. By a majority, the Supreme Court dismisses the appeal. The judgment is given by Lord Hamblin and Lord Leggett, with whom Lord Kerr agrees. Lord Burroughs delivers a partially dissenting judgment, with which Lord Sales agrees. Lord Sales also gives his own judgment. The reasons for the judgment. In determining which system of law governs an arbitration agreement, the English court applies the English common law rules for resolving conflicts of laws rather than that the provisions of the Rome 1 regulation, as the latter excludes arbitration agreements from its scope. Under the common law, the law applicable to the arbitration agreement will be 1. The law expressly or impliedly chosen by the parties, or 2. In the absence of such choice, the system of law most closely connected with the arbitration agreement. In determining whether the parties have made a choice of law, the court should construe the arbitration agreement and the contract containing it by applying rules of contractual interpretation of English law as a law of the forum. Where the parties have not specified the law applicable to the arbitration agreement, but they have expressly or impliedly chosen the law to govern the contract containing the arbitration agreement, this choice will generally apply to the arbitration agreement. This general rule encourages legal certainty, consistency and coherence while avoiding complexity and artificiality. The Court of Appeal was wrong to find that there was, where there is no express choice of law governing, governing the arbitration agreement, there is a strong presumption that the parties have by implication chosen the law of the seat of the arbitration to govern the arbitration agreement. Where the parties have made no choice of law to govern the contract containing the arbitration agreement, the Court must determine the law with which the arbitration agreement is most closely connected. In general, the arbitration agreement will be most closely connected with the law of the seat of the arbitration. This default rule is supported by the following considerations. 1. The seat is where the arbitration is to be performed, legally if not physically. 2. This approach maintains consistency with international law and legislative policy. 3. This rule is likely to uphold the reasonable expectations of contracting parties who specify a location for the arbitration without choosing the law to govern the contract. And four, this approach provides legal certainty, allowing parties to predict easily which law the court will apply 
in the absence of choice. As the contract in this case contained no choice of the law to govern the contract, the arbitration agreement is governed by the law of the chosen seat of arbitration, as the law with which the dispute resolution clause is most closely connected. The seat of the arbitration is London, and English law therefore governs the arbitration agreement. Chubb Russia does not dispute that if the arbitration agreement is governed by English law, it was legitimate for the Court of Appeal to grant an anti-suit injunction in this case. The Supreme Court, however, affirms the Court of Appeal's decision that in principle, it makes no difference whether the arbitration agreement is governed by English or foreign law, as the inquiry in both cases remains the same, whether there's been a breach of the agreement, and if so, whether it is just and convenient to grant an injunction to restrain that breach. The appeal is accordingly dismissed. <laughs>